Yo, what's up guys? You're with Dipco and today we are going to talk about the new update that's coming to Warzone. Treyarch Studios announced that it's coming February 25th. A lot of rumors, a lot of definites, a lot of things we need to talk about. So let's dive in. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, I'm so excited. Uh, we have new guns. We have three new guns, maybe four, depending on how you look at it. We know how much guns affect the gameplay of Warzone. We saw it with the DMR and the MAC-10 in the beginning of the last season. It was just like a common topic. Everyone talked about the mac 10 and the dmr it was so op anytime you got killed in warzone you knew on the other side of that kill cam there was some dude looking at you with a dmr so we're hoping that it's not exactly like that uh, with this update, but I, I'm okay with them giving us a little bit of incentive to use the new guns, maybe a little OP, but those DMR MAC-10s were a little absurd. The first gun I'm gonna talk about is the Galil. Uh, we saw this Galil first in the first Black Ops. Uh, it was a fan favorite because it had no recoil, a really fast fire rate, and it killed people in like three to four body shots, two headshots. So it's just like, how can you go wrong with that? If you have good aim, you're gonna do pretty well with this. I mean, I always love an AR with a fast fire rate and no recoil. At least that's what it was in Black Ops and we're hoping for the same specs or at least something similar in this uh, war zone because that's normally what Call of Duty does. The second gun is the LC-10 SMG. So this SMG uh, has a very fast fire rate. I don't know exactly how it compares to the MAC-10 but I'm going to go ahead and assume that this SMG is going to be like the new wave, uh, the new thing that everyone throws in. I'm excited because I'm, I'm going to do that exactly. I'm going to switch this into my Car 98 MAC-10. 10 loadout and and see how it does and see if it can do the same things that i can do with my mac 10 and then finally i'm not as excited for this one guys i'm not gonna lie uh they came out with a they're coming out with a crossbow um and like i'm not being a hater on the crossbow the crossbow is a cool thing you can do fun things with it and they're fun sometimes but i just feel like if you're gonna give us new guns in the update i just would rather them do something other than a crossbow but that's just me i'm not being a hater just me uh, but those are the three guns and like I said uh, there is a fourth gun that we are going to talk about that people are um, not sure how to classify this gun it is a big ass minigun it is a gun that we've never seen before minigun bigger than any gun on Call of Duty ever and that's why they don't know if it's going to be a kill streak or it's going to be something that you can just pick up on the ground uh, either way it would be dope I'm excited to use a big ass minigun that would be freaking awesome we have three new skins they are Wolf, Regus, and Naga these skins all look pretty dope i don't know if i would switch from my normal white reaper skin that i normally use but i could definitely see my friends using these they're very aesthetic looking very dope i think it's a great addition to the game i always think when a game uh gives us an update like this it's great to put in new skins to change it up a little bit the, the main thing i want to talk about is we're getting a new map guys a new map finally so this map is the euro mountain the euro mountains um i don't know i just know it's some russian mountains uh outside of her dance the trailer looks crazy i don't know how but it looks like there's cities mountains jungles rivers all kinds of shit that we can fight in and i'm excited i trust them i know they're gonna do their thing with the map uh but uh one of the things that intrigues me the most that i did see about this map is that it's gonna be bigger than verdansk how much bigger can we get i'm excited i like big maps i like a lot of exploring different things so i'm excited for that another thing that they are incorporating it seems is weather changes it looks like there's gonna be thunderstorms lightning it's gonna get dark so they i know they teased that before in the past and we've been looking for that uh but I think it's finally coming in and that's something we could look forward to on february 25th the final thing i wanted to talk about that i'm not as excited for is it looks like they are going back to their old ways uh that we had in blackout and we are going to see zombies again uh there are some trial machines that they tease throughout um call of duty now that people are seeing that are kind of hinting that we're going to get zombies again uh maybe incorporate them in hospital there's all kinds of different rumors i'm going to be straight up i don't really like zombies in the battle royale scene they're just a hassle for me it always just screwed me over and i hate it so um the, the one idea i saw was that zombies are going to flood verdance and take over certain parts and when you take over bunker 11 that you're going to be able to set off the nuke and blow all the zombies up i don't know exactly all I know is this update is coming February 25th. Absolutely geeked. The biggest update, the biggest map. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about the new news, the new update. Let me know what you're excited for, what Warzone loadouts you use now, and please subscribe and share. We'll see you soon.